Uh, let's move on. Temple, the Temple Owls, eight and five last year, seven and one in the conference, which is crazy to think about. They went eight and five, but they went seven and one in the league. Their only loss was to UCF, and that was a fantastic game. They they're they're a really good team. They're a tough yeah. team, man. I left them out of my like five that I love. I I, I don't know why. Well, I, they, well, because we're waiting to see what happens with um, with Rod Carey, right? We'll see. True. So, um, look, they were eight and five last year, seven and one in the conference. Seven offensive starters back. That's pretty good. Six back on defense. Number four most experienced in the conference, but number forty four in the country. They lost head coach Jeff Collins. Then they hired and then lost head coach Manny Diaz. Yep. Oh, they finally took Northern Illinois coach Rod Carey. They they are usually the guys that hire the defensive coordinator guy. That's right. But they this like time they defense. They like tough. They said, "Screw it. We have had too many head coaches that leave from here and then go to bigger jobs. We're just going to take somebody else's head coach. Yeah. Like make it easy on ourselves." So they took Rod Carey uh, from Northern Illinois. Quarterback Anthony Russo, he took over in game three last year. You remember they lost to like Villanova and somebody else. Uh, but man, they they did not look good in their first two games. And then he went seven and three as a starter. And four out of five of their offensive line return. Uh, but the offensive line does lack depth this year. That's that's going to be a concern. Linebacker unit, best in the AAC, uh, probably one of the top 20, 25 in the country. At which they are every year. Temple just breeds these guys. Uh, four two five set. Um, let's see. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It, it, I'm looking at uh, how many they've got coming back for the front four. Uh, sorry, not many starters back uh, in the front four and the secondary, but uh, they do have a lot of upperclassmen, so that's good. Uh, definite transition situation. A bowl should definitely be attainable. I think so. I got them seven and five. Seven and five. I think they regress one game. Yeah, and it's. I mean, they won. It was their bowl game that they won last year, right? Didn't they win their bowl game? No, they finished eight and five. They finished eight and five. But did they go eight and four? Oh, oh they finished eight and four in the regular season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Season. yeah. Okay. I think they lost. Bowl. Um, I got them beating Bucknell. I got them losing to Maryland. A win at Buffalo. I think they're going to humiliate Georgia Tech. I think those players. Uh, are going to want to get back at Jeff Collins. This is a rare situation where the guy has to bring his Power 5 team back to the G5 school. Like, that's that's rare. So I think that they're going to beat up on Georgia Tech. I think they win at East Carolina. That puts them out at 4-1 and one in the first five. But then after that, look, Memphis at SMU, UCF at USF, Tulane at Cincy, and UConn. Like, obviously, they get the UConn win. Uh, I've only got them beating... SMU, SMU. I and was, Tulane. I was going to say, and then I just I'm always wary to chalk up wins at Tulane. Well, just, but this this one's in Philly. I, I understand, but, but against, the triple yeah. option's a triple option. Well, but it, see, if that's you're the re- thing. if you're ready for it, you're they ready. Ain't for running it. the triple option. They're 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 doing one of those weird things. He's trying to move more modern, and that's one of the reasons I don't know if I like him a lot this year. But but we'll talk about it. Maybe I need to change my Tulane pick. Then. We'll talk about it in the next division. Not a fan. Of um, but yeah, so Temple, I got seven and five. You got them seven and five. I got them seven and five. Okay, that sounds about reasonable. 